All right, all right. Well, I have had this, uh, the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon for quite a few weeks now, and I've been making all kinds of prints, but in this case, I thought I'd share with you some of my first prints when I first started, you know, pumping them out um, and see the results. Well, the first, of course, is the Benchy. Everybody's got a print off a of Benchy, right? And uh, with this one, this is the one that was included with the X1 Carbon, and you can just just load it up and, and print away, right? And it printed in record time. It was like 24 minutes, but like 7 minutes of was was uh, all the prep time and then 17 minutes of actual print time. But you can see there on the bottom, that's you know, where it has the real shiny... Uh, finish to it and then then it turns into a matte finish after that one layer and and that could be you know from the thickness of the piece to uh, the the cooling or you know whatever but but I'm sure the whole point of this benchy was to show how fast it could go and get a decent print um, so that was probably seen and just ignored right just want to see how fast it is if you want a better one you can go and, and do your own settings in, in the slicer. So I wanted to, to try a long a longer time print with at least two colors, right? I had never done any you know multicolor prints and uh, decided to do this T800 the exterminator and you know I'm not really big into figurines or busts or anything like that uh, but this one looked pretty cool. I was like man I might have to try this one out so this one I found on printables and I printed off at uh, three-quarter scale and, and it turned out fantastic right uh, there was just one little thing that was on and it was on the top of the head you can see the, the rings there at the top if you can get the right angle yeah there's you can see them pretty clearly there and uh, well, I learned how to fix that. Um, just a couple of adjustments on the on the slicing on the software, and it and it came out pretty decent. I can still see some rings if you look really really close, but for the most part, you can see where I just chopped that off uh, and just printed the the top portion of the head just to see if I can get rid of that. Um, now there's some discoloration there, but big difference on the rings. And it was something about uh, turning off the single top layer. Uh, I think that was the big one. But at least I was able to, to do it in the software and not have to uh, uh, resort to you know switching over to a smaller nozzle and slowing the print down and all that stuff, trying to get a better quality. Uh, that was just a, a simple fix. But it turned out pretty good. Now I had just watched... Um, it was a new show, uh, Wednesday. It was based on the Adams Family franchise. And so I just had to print off the thing. Found this on printables also. And uh, turned out really good, I thought. And I see them all, I see these everywhere it seems like, but this one I found on, on printable, on printables, and I can't remember who, who I got it from, but, uh, but thank you whoever it was, and, uh, I think it's, uh, <laughs> that was pretty, pretty cool. But you can see the details on the fingers even the palm of the hand there and all this was printed with no support um, I believe it printed this way uh, with no support anything like that but all the wrinkles in the hand and um, that would be really cool if it had fingerprints on it right but, well there we go but after playing around with it for a little while I, I kinda wanted to print something off you know, print some items that actually served a purpose. You know what I mean? Not just to look at, but uh, so here we go. So this tool was actually designed to fit the PTFE hose and the connector um, in the buffer, on the rear buffer on the X1 Carbon. 
And so instead of removing the buffer and then using needle nose pliers, uh, you can use this tool. And I did a couple of different versions of it. Uh, you can see you can just slide it in and then when you press down on the connector the PTFE hose will pop right out. And uh, the second version you'll see it has that uh, a flange on it so that it gives you a little more uh, leverage. Uh, if it feels like it's a tight squeeze or something you can just pop it right in and, and a little more leverage there. And uh, With these you can actually use on any PTFE hose on any printer so it comes in pretty handy so on my first few prints you know the X1 carbon it was it was sending all the trash all the trash filament you know out of the poop chute and it was just out on the floor right uh, so naturally I had to make a little poop chute basket or a catcher and this one you can see I embedded a magnet on it um, I have a bunch of these from a previous project uh, but the magnets come in, I guess they're measuring, uh, was it a half inch in diameter and about a hundred thousandths thick. And they ended up working quite well. You can see the magnet's strong enough to keep the poop catcher in place and it's easily removed when it comes time to empty it, you know. So, worked out really well. So I have a collection of all these bed materials, you know, magnetic beds, the glass, and the PEI beds, and they're, you know, to fit all my other printers, and decided to try to make a file system so that I can store these beds vertically and maybe save some space, you know. But it works, but I'll probably try to make some changes to the height of the sides uh, and maybe add some feet for a little more stability. So with this one, you know, I have a, a it's a 1998 Suburban, and it's kind of old, and the old key fobs had, had broken at the key ring slot, you know. So I modeled these up and ended up working fantastic on the first rev. So I printed another key fobs from the, uh, from the PA carbon fiber, you know, for the added strength, and hopefully keep it from breaking again. But they, it worked great, and it saved me from having to, to buy another one, you know. So I posted these last four on, uh, on printables.com and, and you can find them there. Just go to printables.com and search for V3 Precision and you'll find them. Now, I'll be adding many more you know, in, in the near future. So be sure to follow me on printables.com, on Facebook. And as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and watch for my next video.